Well, welcome back to running the diesel heater, the exhaust through an EGR and making hot water with it or and or run it through your engine coolant system to heat up your engine as well as heating up perhaps your um, camper van or your van or your lorry or your car or whatever. So basically we have the 8 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, whatever the fucking kilowatt they actually are. Exhaust comes out of that into my badly made adapter plate here of this EGR cooler. Uh, there is a pipe down here for the inlet, there's one for the outlet. In there, there is a pump that runs off the mains just now because that was, it was a fish tank pump I had because that's all I had. Uh, I've got a thermocouple poked up the hot water one, the output of the EGR, the hot, which will be the hot end on the multimeter, turn that on, see what temperature it is when it's off, and then once it's up and it's running, um, that's pretty much it. I'll take the camera for tripod and show you around more once it's up and running. Now I'm going to fire up and I'll bring you back once it's up and running. But first, let's have a baseline. Where is temp temperature? Oh. So can you see? Right, let's. He said, zoom, zoom. Right, so the current water is 21 degrees. Remember that. Remember 21 degrees. Right, I'll now fire it all up and bring you back once it's up and running. Okay, as you can probably hear in the background, the heater is up and running. I will now turn on the switch for the pump and we should see it spike because it's currently full of heating up water as it is. So we'll turn the pump on, so you can see it's shot up to 30 degrees, but it'll now come back down again. And this has now gone back down to being cold on the outside. But you can see the temperature was at 21, it's now got a 7 degree increase in temperature going through. Seven, well, six degrees, sorry. 20, 27 minus 21 is six, yes. I have to say the exhaust coming out of the exhaust port is pretty much cold. Well, not cold, but it's cool. The water's not hot, hot, but it's, you know, it's warm. And it's only going to get warmer as this small vessel increases in temperature. Let me bring you out for a look. So we've got the exhaust straight at the diesel here. And in my homemade adapter that fits the end of the EGR. That's the inlet coming from the outlet of the pump. So the water comes in this end through the channels inside the here. It's pumped back out and through this hose and back around to here where it's now nice and warm. And exhaust just exits currently through this hole. I mean you could put the... Well that helped a lot. Put the silencer on it as well. Of course you would then make another exhaust bracket and take that out to outside your vehicle as a proper exhaust. So the temperature is now 30 degrees. And a little pond here. It's nice and warm, nice warm water. I'm going to do this as two separate videos because this is probably how most people would want to do it is to scavenge the waste heat from the exhaust and use it to heat, heat coolant. In the other video I'm going to take this EGR and mount it straight onto the open end of the 2 kilowatt here. I'm going to make a pipe and, and fl another flange and bolt it straight on and run the 2 kilowatt straight through out here and see how hot you can get the water straight out of it. Right, let's fire up the flare. Okay, so this makes some sense. You've got these bits on the pipe. Oh, actually, can you see my finger? These bits are painted black, so they show the true temperature out of it, or almost the true temperature. And there's a painted black one up near the heater as well, up there. But you can see, I also painted the heater black so the hot exhaust is coming into here and then it's pretty much gone back down to ambient. And 
let us take the Fleer for a walk, if I can. So, let's put on the spot thing. So, that's hotter than my Fleer roll, I actually measure. Now we come down a bit further down a bit, oh, too much. Once again, hotter than the Fleer can measure, and then into the EGR cooler. So up this end, 35, 40, and then as it runs through, 30, 30, 30. And then back to being hot again as the exhaust leaves, and then there's into the fish tank. So that thing says 35.36 degrees. My thermometer says 37. So that's not too bad. As you can see, the output of the exhaust, if I can line this up, maybe that. Is that 60 degrees? Does it feel like 60? Yes, it does. It's pretty much not hot at all. Unlike the 150 plus, actually, where's the other? So, the, this thermometer says these bits are 170 degrees, 170, which is, and then 30, 30, so 30 across there, same as what the figure shows. So there we go. Oh wow, that's yeah. You can have a bath in that, it's lovely. Never my dirty hands. Anyway, um, yes. Right, so as a proof of concept, that absolutely works, and it works brilliantly. I mean, what's this is going to be, I don't know, three, four, four layers maybe? And it's double the temperature of that in the short space of time we've been filming this from the waste heat out of the exhaust. Remember, the heat coming out of this would still be going into your camper. This is still heating your camper. This would be the waste heat that's going out in the atmosphere. You could be using that in a, like, a little radiator, heat up a hot water cylinder, heat the coolant for the engine to keep the engine, let's say you're going somewhere really, really cold, you might as well keep the engine warm as well with the waste heat. So that absolutely works, fant I'm, that's, I'm really surprised, not surprised, impressed, I'm very impressed about how well it actually works. As I said, the second part, not the second part, the second video will be attaching this straight on to the bare end of the 2 kilowatt heater and running it like that and seeing how hot it can get hot water. How hot it can get hot water? How hot it can get water? So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the second part second video.